you guys can judge whether you think I'm an overpacker or an underpacker. <laughs> what do you have for me? Good afternoon, happy Wednesday. I hope you guys are just having a swell day. This week has been a little hectic. We have had so many things that were planned and then have gotten canceled and moved around. So I feel like it was set up to be a really productive week and now it's just kind of like slowly going downhill, but that's okay. I'm getting ready right now to go take family photos for Christmas cards being very on top of it because last year it I just forgot and then it was too late. But this year we're getting it done and we tried to do it a few days ago and then it was pouring down rain and we had to cancel and I felt so bad because the photographer like drove all the way out and uh, I don't think it's gonna rain. Let me, let me show you guys this guy. I don't think this looks like it's gonna rain. Like I see some blue sky over there but I don't know, I'm worried. We're just gonna hope that it doesn't rain. We have to leave in like 30 minutes or so. But before we leave, I wanted to start the process. One of my favorite things in the world, packing my suitcase. <laughs> By the title of this video, you guys can see that we are packing for a pretty long trip. We're leaving for, I think, about two weeks. And it's like 2.30 p.m. right now and our flight leaves at midnight tonight not looking forward to that i hate overnight flights oh um but anyways i figured i love watching like pack with me type videos because i love seeing what people pack for trips so i figured that would be really fun to show you guys what i'm packing for our fall trip to the northeast we're gonna see lots of fall colors and we went there last year i'll put the link to last year's fall road trip video right there but i figured i would just walk you guys through how i like to pack what i typically bring along and you guys can judge whether you think i'm an overpacker or an underpacker so let's do it okay first i just have to start out by saying that it is one of my biggest pet peeves when people put their suitcases on their bed. I understand that it's an easy spot to put stuff, but it's so gross because these wheels touch the ground and like the airplane and I cannot. So my suitcase will always be on the floor. First things I do is I make a little note on my phone with like the different things we're going to be doing each day of the trip so I know like what types of outfits to pack. So I'm gonna do that right now. So as you can see, I just have the three different states that we're going to, Vermont, Maine, and Tennessee. I know Tennessee is not in the Northeast, but <laughs> we're going there as well. And I just have like what dates we're going to be in each place and then the average temperature for the time we're gonna be there, and then just some things that we're going to be doing. We don't really have like a set structure for each day, so these are just some of the things we'll be doing so I know what to pack. We're mostly going to be in like nature and just like outdoors, not really hiking or anything, but just like exploring and walking around outdoors. So I think I'm gonna pack lots of sweaters. It's gonna be like 60 and then 65 and then 70, so. That's my alarm to go leave for the family photos. We <laughs> will pick this up when I get back and figure out what clothes I'm gonna bring. <laughs> I decided to vlog um, our little family photo shoot. We just got to the nature park. Um, we're just waiting for the photographer to get here and Boeing just disappeared. Come here! <laughs> we're gonna walk around and explore a few different areas that might be good for the photos. So let's do it. Is that tasty? All right, you guys, our photographer, Coral, just got here. And now we're gonna go to the second location. <laughs> we, I brought a wagon. I got it at 
the thrift store. Thought it could be cute. We'll see. <laughs> Coral has set the vibe <laughs> with the, the music. music. We got our props. We're gonna try to do some shots right here in the grass with this in the background. Let's see if Boeing cooperates. He didn't want to go in the wagon. Well, the handle was in the way. <laughs> Boeing, you did your photo shoot. It was so cute. Can we see a sneak peek on the camera? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Boeing was so cute. Zach still got the wagon. <laughs> I can't wait to see them. We're back. <laughs> we are back from our Christmas card shoot. It's now like 6.30 p.m. and the suitcase is still empty. So we've got some work to do. Okay, where did we leave off? I had just figured out what the weather was going to be like. We're gonna be gone for 12 days, which is a long time. And obviously I'm not going to pack 12 different outfits because that would be so hectic and I have like a carry-on size suitcase. That's kind of my rule with traveling is I always only take a carry-on. So whatever I can fit in a carry-on works. And if I can't, then I don't need it. I'm probably going to pack pretty light since I have to pack like bigger sweaters and things like that. And I mean, not that many things can fit into a carry-on suitcase if they're really bulky. So let's see how many things I can like put together that like will also mix and match with each other, if that makes sense. I'm in my closet now, so the lighting's not very good, but this is kind of what I have to work with, and I'm just gonna see what I can mix and match together. Okay, here's what I have to work with. This is what I put out so far. I might take some things away. I might add some things, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I have in my preliminary round. <laughs> okay, so I've got a skirt here. I have a nicer button up shirt for just like any nicer dinners. I have a flannel button up shirt for the more rugged outdoorsy days. I've got two pair of pants blue jeans and a pair of white jeans. Over here I have one beanie. I have a sweatshirt just like for cozy lounging and then some biker shorts for lounging as well. I've got a hat, a baseball hat. I have a little headscarf. I've got a belt. I have a pair of thermal pajamas. And then I've got a cardigan here. I have a chunky sweater right here, and then a turtleneck. I've got a more like outdoorsy jacket. I have a nicer peacoat jacket, and then I have three pair of shoes, some boots, some just like casual everyday shoes, and then some nicer shoes as well. I don't know if that seems like a lot or not a lot. I can never tell, um, but I feel like that's a really good amount of things. With the skirt and the two pants, there's like, two or three bottoms and then I have like one two three four five six different tops to alternate and we're gonna be there for like 12 days so that's only like two days wearing the same top so I feel like this should be enough clothes to mix and match I just gotta make sure it all fits in the suitcase okay hello I'm down here with the suitcase um I always keep little like bags like linen bags like this in my suitcase to put things in like just to organize them like undies or socks or just like any little things and they work great like clothes and shoes always come in these but 
I love them for organization. Okay, here's the rundown. I've got clothes in here along with my steamer. And here I've got my like hats and belt accessories. And then in here I have shoes underneath and then these two sweaters in the jacket. And I'm gonna try to see if I can fit my toiletry bag right here. And then if so, I'll be good to go. All right, welcome to my bathroom. Um, I'm going to pack my toiletry case now. I've just been traveling with this like canvas a uh, little like tote thing i got it from madewell i like that it's just like one big thing i can drop everything in and it's kind of small so it keeps me from bringing a bunch of stuff so i'm gonna pack my toiletries now and then pray that my suitcase closes <laughs> That took longer than expected. It's 9.40 and I started at like 6.30. So took a little bit longer, but that's okay. Hopefully I didn't overpack. That's always like my biggest struggle is like, did I overpack? Um, Cause I don't want to. I like to keep it simple. So comment down below if you guys overpack or underpack or if you think I overpacked or underpacked I'd be very curious to see what you guys think of my packing skills well I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because we have to go to the airport in like in a little under an hour and I will see you guys next time from the northeast where it will be fall and just wholesome and pumpkins and fall leaves and all the fall things so get ready for that i'm excited because we haven't done a travel vlog in a while but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you really soon probably maybe hopefully <laughs>